In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly sound design these cinematic arpeggiated sequences and pulses in Vital. And to demonstrate this, I'm just going to use a very basic arpeggio. So this is what it sounds like with the default preset in Vital. And for this kind of sound, I like to use all oscillators here and just use a sine wave on one of the oscillators and pitch it down one octave. So we also have the bass area covered with a very clean sound. And we can also make one or two of the oscillators a bit wider. So now this is what it sounds like. And now to get this more pulsing sound, we're actually going to route everything through a filter and then just use one of the LFOs or envelopes on the cutoff of this. And then we can just simply draw in a shape similar to this. So you can just play around with the cutoff here and with the shape of this to get your desired sound. But this is pretty much the basic setup with which you can very quickly get this sound. And then you can just use whatever effects you like afterwards. I like to use a compressor and distortion afterwards. And I don't really care too much about the highs that this is going to introduce because I will be using any EQ afterwards anyways. So. <laughs> So now to make this a bit more interesting, as I said, I'm going to use an EQ and I'm just going to automate the cutoff of this low pass here. And at the end of this build up, I have the same sequence layered with itself two octaves higher here. So this is what it sounds like here. On this one, we can also cut the lows a bit because we don't really need that on this one. And I also like to use a second EQ just to control how much of the highs I actually want to let through. And then I also typically like to layer this with a bass sequence. And for this, I again used a very simple pattern here. You can just use notes that are already included in the arpeggio or just play around and see what kind of sequence of notes you like. And for this one, we are going for a really bassy sound. So I will pitch this one down two octaves and maybe add another oscillator and pitch this one down one octave more. And now this sounds like this. So not really that great, but we're going to tame this a lot. Let's just make this a bit wider as well, at least one of the oscillators. And then we can just, again, use filter 1 in this case and route both oscillators through this and use LFO 1 on the cutoff again. And now since we don't have short individual notes here, we can just use the tempo here to control the movement of this. <laughs> going to do something very similar again with the build up here and again use another EQ to tame this a bit more and maybe also get rid of some of the lows here as well. and with a bit of context.
So I hope this helps and gives you a bit of a better idea on how you can actually quickly create these kinds of sounds. <laughs>